we are going somewhere that might be the biggest adventure we've ever taken. So we decided to do something a little crazy, a little bit nervous. I think we're both a little bit nervous. They are so pretty. Thank you so much, babe. Isn't that fun? That was amazing. That was so cool to find that band like that. I know. And watch them, get to watch them play. That was so I know. cool. It was awesome. I slept all of the way. Halfway there. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning is too early. <laughs> okay, we are on a flight and we are going somewhere that might be the biggest adventure we've ever taken. Today is our 20 year anniversary. So we decided to do something a little crazy. Um, we just landed in Houston uh, about an hour ago and now we just got on board our next flight to our destination. And this one, like I said, is going to be one for the books. Are you excited? So excited. A little bit nervous. I think we're both a Just little bit nervous. Little. Welcome aboard. But we're happy you're flying with us. Well, today. we're happy to be flying As with you. you. Anyway, Please we're going to get uh, and settled in and uh, get mentally prepared for this destination. <laughs> you ready? I think so. We are here, we are in Cuba. Cuba. We made it to Havana, Cuba, and our driver is here to meet us and he's holding up our sign. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out Havana. All right, so the big reveal is that we are in Havana, Cuba, and we literally just landed and got off the plane, went through customs. Little interesting story in customs, I'll tell you later. Yes. But we made it and we are out in the open now yes. and we're free. Yes. Kind of. Well, well. We got a, we prearranged a driver through our Airbnb to come pick us up. And uh, he just met us with the sign. And now we are getting ready to, uh, he's just gonna pull the car around and then we're gonna go meet him and check out what all of Havana has to offer. Look at this car. That car is old, that was so cool. Lincoln would be flipping out right now. Um, but we are gonna go find our Airbnb and once we get there, we're gonna update you guys on all the things and why we decided to do this. Jill already made a friend. <laughs> Can we take him home? He seems really nice. Oh my gosh, there is our car. We're going right now to get in this old car that pulled up. I cannot believe this is our car. Beautiful car! Thank Woo. you. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. 1948. 1948 Chevrolet? Yeah. Chevrolet. Oh my gosh. Look at this car. What's your name, man? Ariel. 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 Okay. Here, go ahead and get in, babe. Thank you. You wanna slide over? Sure. Oh my word. It's beautiful inside. You, can, you. you did a nice job, man. Oh. All right, we are in the back of a 1948 Chevrolet. Chevrolet, and we're heading to the Airbnb. I cannot believe this. This really? thing is. This is Ariel, our driver. 
Thank you. Best yeah. driver in all of Cuba. Thank you. And there's no seatbelts. That's okay. We don't need seatbelts. Nope. Not in Havana. I didn't think we were going to get a, a classic car right away, so this is pretty fun. Hey everybody, we are actually at our Airbnb right now and we love it here. This is um, this has been amazing so far. We've only been here like two hours. Yeah. But um, what a place. I can't believe we're actually here. I know. By um, the way, happy 20 year anniversary today. I know. Today was the day that we walked down the aisle. Amazing. 20 years ago and it's been quite the ride. I'll yes, tell you it what. Has. And we have celebrated in so so many fun ways. Yeah. What are some of the ways for our five-year anniversary? The one first year anniversary went back to we Maui. We went back to Maui. Where we so had our honeymoon. Where, yep. So that's... Sorry if there's like engine noise out here, but we were right on a main street. So yeah. we have a nice balcony we're sitting out on, but yeah. it's, there's a street right below us. Yeah. So for our first year, we went back to where we honeymooned, which was Maui. And Luke and I had actually talked about going back to Maui for our 20 year, but unfortunately they've had the fires and we're praying for all the people over there and everything, but that was not possible. So at that point we were just talking, well, what should we do? And I know we've been back and forth, but first year was Maui, fifth year. Fifth year I think was Maui, maybe no, third year. our fifth year you took me to um, Glacier National Park. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, we took Lincoln with us, remember? Lincoln came with baby. us, yes, because but it we was, did go back to Maui a few times. We did. Yeah. I think it was for like our third year. Yeah. And then our fifth year we went to Glacier National Park. Um, I know along the way that we have also done Mexico. Yep. Um, which wasn't too Puerto long Vallarta. ago. Puerto Vallarta. This but, year, um, a friend of mine, actually a coworker of mine, uh, who is also a friend, um, he told me that he went to Cuba for the weekend. Now. Um, it's not uncommon for airline folks to go hop to right. uh, a, a destination just for a weekend, but I didn't even really know that people from America went to Cuba and visited. And then it just like opened up this whole world when I started looking yeah. into it. And Jill's like, we should go there. And I'm like, yes. we should try it. That sounds fun. But I can't believe we're actually here. Well, and I think it's quite fitting because 20 years Yep. and we wanted to do something memorable. Something and adventurous. Adventurous because you guys, for those of you that follow us on our channel, we are all about life as an adventure, even the simple everyday life. Yep. So I think this is so fitting and it's something that you and I are experiencing for the first time together. So here we are in Havana, Cuba. Now, we are here in Cuba supporting the local people. Yes. Uh, you're actually not allowed to visit Cuba for as tourists, just as, for that only for that purpose. But there is an allowable reason to visit Cuba, which is support of the Cuban people. Yes. And I learned this from my friend and um, co-worker, and I learned this by doing a lot of research on YouTube, that um, if you are an American and you want to visit Cuba, you can do it. You just have to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. And so, you're supporting the and local people. We're staying and, at an Airbnb. Yep. It's not a government-owned uh, uh, property, and we can't stay at hotels uh, because those are mostly all government-owned, um, and that would be against um, the U.S. guidelines. Yes. And then, um, you know, we're, we're so, so we're supporting the local people by staying here. We're going to eat at restaurants. Yep. Uh, obviously um, and and also just really learn about the culture and look for ways to contribute 
yeah. um, to the, the the people here and the culture that's here. And there's some cool things that we have in store to do that. So yeah. I'm excited. Um, we've got some really fun tours to learn about the history of Cuba, but also like Luke said, the culture. We're going to do some shopping at the markets. But the Airbnb that we're at is amazing. It's yes. beautiful. I did not expect a <laughs> 1948 Chevrolet to pull up. Well, the cool thing was I was actually, I saw this car coming. I'm like, filming the car because I was like oh that is a beautiful car and Jill's yeah. like I think that's him I'm like no way so that was really cool yes. and I know our son was so would have enjoyed that because yes. he loves cars so much and but. it was fun to be on the inside um, Luke, Luke was noticing that you have so much more top clearance because Luke is a tall guy yeah. in headroom. the back of the car headroom yeah. but the engine was replaced and it was a Toyota engine yep. but it still ran it was a lot of fun Shifting with the steering co uh, on the steering yeah. column, yeah. It was yeah, wild. and it was fun coming through the city of Havana to where we're at, which our Airbnb is actually in um, modern Havana. I think is what they yeah, call it. Yeah, it's like the more modern. There's yes. a lot of high rises, like condominium and stuff like that. It's really. And then nice. next to us is Central, and then Central Havana, and then a little bit further, I would say, which way? Uh, east? east. Yeah, I so guess it's more east, east but yeah. Um, is what they call uh, Old Havana. And it sounds like that's where we're going for dinner tonight. No, actually no. the place we're going okay. is right near here. Okay. But there's supposed okay. to be live music and really good food. Um, again, our Airbnb host arranged this for us. Yeah. And by the way, he also did me a real solid. And I, I, I asked him, them. yeah, mm -hmm. you'll, Jill will show you this in a second, but I yes. asked him if he wouldn't mind um, arranging for some flowers to be in here when we got here and they were here and they are beautiful wow they are gorgeous what a bouquet of flowers and yeah it was just amazing so, so that was really cool um we have four days we're almost pretty much done with our first day three nights and we are so excited to share this experience with you um we're excited to be celebrating 20 years of marriage together and and if i had it to do all over again i'd say yes all over again good. and not change a thing oh good i'm glad you don't regret your decision because if you were going to tell me that right now in front of the world that would be uh, a big Scary. letdown <laughs> well i am so thankful that god brought me a man that is adventurous that is a leader and willing just to live life we love doing this kind of yes, stuff yes we do so Anyway, let's show you the place yeah, and let's so. start with this awesome veranda that we're sitting on. Guys, I'm just really excited to even be able to share this with all of you that maybe are unable to travel. So I'm just, I hope you enjoy it. I'm still so thankful that we started our vlog because I feel like we can share our world, our life a little bit, but even to those that are unable to get out and travel so i hope you really enjoy this okay so out on the veranda it's beautiful you've got i think it's marble tile on the floor but you've got these beautiful um just uh edge and it looks out on the street and it's so fun to watch the traffic and everything going on out on the street because the cars over here are just like frozen in time you see so many classics and it's really not a big deal to them but I just love seeing the culture and life happen. So this is gonna be a fun spot to sit out here tonight and really see what's going on. It's a big, beautiful, open area, it has some great shade. We even have a nice little um, awning that comes out over the top here. And then of course there's a beautiful table. They've got some plants and it just looks out over these older buildings. And um, it just, I kind of love the ambiance that it's gonna bring. So. Luke and I are gonna enjoy some good time out here when it's not so hot. And what's even good is you can even see the ocean from our room, from the balcony, at the end of the street. Um, so way down at the end of the street is the ocean. We're gonna go down there a little bit later um, in our trip. All right, now we're gonna head into what is the main floor of the house, but we're actually gonna walk downstairs and start from the front door and start from the main entry and work our way up and the stairs in this is no joke and there's no elevator but it's okay um, but I definitely have to watch what I'm doing here because they're pretty gnarly but they're beautiful at the same time <laughs> starting at the front entrance you've got a beautiful wrought iron gate and so this is where we entered in through and then you look here and you have this beautiful courtyard and sitting area right here it's got a beautiful couch two chairs 
and this is just another great place that I think Luke and I can sit. And then you walk through the main door, which is also locked. We have a key to that, and you walk up the stairs. And the stairs, once again, are beautiful, but when you are carrying a lot of luggage, it takes a little while. So then the whole, I'm gonna call it a studio, <laughs> opens up into the main living room. And this place is so pretty. They've got some beautiful couches. They also have some nice chairs, a TV. Then you can look into our kitchen. And first of all, I have to show you the beautiful surprise that Luke had for me. <laughs> He was able to get the guy to get a beautiful bouquet of flowers for my anniversary. They are so pretty. Thank you so much, babe. I appreciate it. So we have a pretty good sized kitchen. It's got the refrigerator. It's got a sink, microwave, coffee maker, dining room table. And they were so nice to stock the fridge for us. So this is like a mini bar that you'd find in a hotel, but they went ahead and stocked it. So if Luke and I use anything, they've got some water, some soda in there, and other beverages. And if we take anything from it, I think they said the bottled water is like a dollar. So once you come around to the very end of the kitchen, you're gonna walk into one of the four bedrooms that are available here. So this is the first bedroom. It has got two full beds in it, along with its own bathroom, right off of the bedroom. This place has plenty of space for a lot of people, but it's only Luke and I here. And the reason why we booked it is because we thought it was just such a great deal and in a great location, and it had such high ratings. We're like, well, we'll just go ahead and book it. After that, you walk back through the kitchen and you come into the second bedroom. Um, we're guessing this is possibly what they would call the master bedroom. I don't know, there's two more after this that I would say probably would also be a master bedroom. But it's got a small just um, dresser there to hang your clothes. It's got its own bathroom as well. And this one is a queen size bed. And you have a, a full size bathroom and the bathrooms are actually really pretty. So after that bed bedroom, you walk back out into the main living room. We walk over to the one same wall that our veranda is on. And this is actually the room that Luke and I chose to stay in. But this is the third bedroom and it's got another queen size bed. It has beautiful windows all along the wall. Each of the bedrooms are actually air conditioned. So out in the main living area, not so much, but when you get in the bedrooms, they do have air conditioning units and it's a big relief from the heat. And this bedroom also has its own bathroom. So, so far, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. And then once again, we come back out in the main living area into the fourth and final bedroom. And so this is the fourth and final bedroom and um, it once again has a queen size bed, really nice and air conditioned in here. Every room um, has a television in it and it also has its own bathroom as well. So four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Um, definitely makes us want to bring back some of our friends, bring back the kids to really experience this. This is such a beautiful place and we would definitely come back and stay here again. A few other features that this place has that we really liked is it does come equipped with Wi-Fi. So once we got over to the Airbnb, we had free Wi-Fi. This is great because we can keep in contact with the kids and the rest of our family while we're here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing where we're staying, and if you guys are interested, we will link the Airbnb below. We're only here four days, so we gotta pack a lot in. Yeah. We're probably not gonna make it to a beach, but there's this tour that we're trying to arrange uh, up to a small town that's like two hours from here. Um, so we're hoping to do that, to see some cool things about the culture here. And then we're gonna check out a bunch of cool restaurants while we're here, we're going to walk around and shop in the um, old Havana district, which we're really excited about. Yeah. And, and we're gonna bring the camera along as much as we can because we wanna capture this and show it to the kids and to our friends. I'm so excited to be able to actually share some of this stuff with everybody else. This is not quite the end of day one though. We still have our anniversary dinner that we're gonna go celebrate tonight. And we're gonna take a taxi over to a, a restaurant that the owner, the host has recommended and go have 
our first dinner in Cuba. So. Can't wait to try the local yeah. food. Yep. All right, we are off to dinner. And this is a recommendation from our Airbnb host. So really looking forward to it. El son de Cuba. El son de Cuba traigo yo. Apúrense que el son llegó. El son de Cuba. El son de Cuba traigo yo. Porque la fiesta ya empezó. La fiesta sigue toda la noche con este ritmo tan especial. La gente baila, la gente goza con esa música original. El son de Cuba. El son de Cuba traigo yo. Apúrense que el son llegó. All right, we are at our restaurant and we have seats in the dining room inside because it's air conditioned and it feels really nice to be in air conditioning because it's still pretty hot out. Um, Although tonight, it's it's about 7.30 here, and tonight they said they open up the rooftop for a special concert. They have a, a, a special um, music concert going on up there. And so we can actually pay a little bit of money, it's like $5 a person, to go and uh, up to the rooftop tonight and listen to the music. So we'll probably do that later, but for now we have this really nice restaurant that we're sitting in. Okay. Love them. And as you can see, it's very empty in here. There's only one other couple that's eating, that's dining here. So uh, we have the restaurant almost to ourselves. But we found out this is also like a boutique hotel. I'm looking at the menu for uh, what's on here. I'm gonna read some of this with, to Jill so that she knows what the options are. Grilled bluefish accompanied by a pumpkin pimentier. That sounds great. Fried white fish marinated with lemon, garlic, parsley, accompanied by green man mayonnaise. Fresh tempura lobster with a tropical beak of ro uh, roaster and tam tamarind honey. And then lobster enchilado flam flambéed with Havana Club rum, seven years, and Creole sauce. <laughs> and the, the, the amazing thing is the prices are incredible. Like. This is like 10 to 12 bucks per plate for these really amazing dishes. So I love the, the place that Luke picked. Um, it's once again cars, so it's really interesting. I know Lincoln would love this, absolutely. All right, this is an appetizer that we ordered and it is, it is a salmon, right? Sm not smoked salmon, oh look at that. That looks so good. And it's on a pineapple, or not, uh, sorry, pumpkin uh, puree. Mmm, that's a lot of flavor. It's really good. So uh, very refreshing. Um, the pumpkin really actually kind of like accents. It's really good. The other kind of mayo and then I don't know what the fresh vegetable it is that they have on here. It's like a type of onion, but it's super good. One of the things that we checked into um, it was to make sure that this was a privately owned hotel and not government owned and it is privately owned um, It's a boutique hotel. So uh, We're just making sure that we want to keep that objective that we're here to support the, the Cuban people and the culture and just making sure that we are staying along those lines because That's what we came over here set out to do. Here is my blue fish Looks so good rice and then I got the lobster, it's like enchilada, but it's flambéed and it's cooked in seven year rum. Amazing. Looks amazing. Okay, so I actually ordered another entree just because <laughs> I wanted to try one more thing. And this is a lamb curry and it looks really good. I just want to taste the sauce. Mmm, wow. That's good. Lamb it's coconut beautiful. curry. Yeah. yeah. So good. It's so pretty back here. The garden. Thank you. Okay, so after dinner, we decided to come up to the rooftop uh, per the invitation from the restaurant um, because they have a special band playing tonight up on the rooftop at the bar. And it is just beautiful up here. I'm gonna get some video just so you can see the ambiance, but it is gorgeous up here. There's a beautiful bar, a wonderful uh, setup for the band. It's way up high, kind of a tree line, and you can see the city a little bit. It's just really a cool atmosphere up here and a great way to end our 20 year anniversary evening together. <laughs> Bueno, para que no...
fun that was amazing that was so cool to find that band like that I know. and watch them get to watch them play that was so I know. cool and they were I think so energetic that's one of those things i think i'll never forget right, right my right. first night in havana that yeah. was my first night in havana <laughs> what a great time <laughs> Sabroso. <laughs>